What is deep learning, and why is it such a hot topic today? In this video, we'll begin to answer those questions. We'll also look at the difference between traditional shallow neural networks and deep learning. I'm sure most of you have already heard about the usage of deep learning. It's not overstating it to say that the use of deep learning is becoming increasingly prevalent across all industries. For example, deep learning is trying to help the healthcare industry for tasks such as cancer detection and drug discovery. In the internet service and mobile phone industries, we can see various apps which are using deep learning for image video classification and speech recognition. For example, Google Voice, Apple Surrey, Microsoft Skype, and so on. In media, entertainment, and news, we can see applications such as video captioning, real-time translation and personalization, or recommendation systems such as Netflix. In autonomous cars, deep learning is trying to overcome key concerns, such as sign and passenger detection, or for lane tracking. In security, deep learning is used for face recognition and video surveillance. Deep learning is used in many other fields and domains as well. Looking at all of these industries, we can see that the increasing popularity of deep learning today is due to three reasons. First, in the dramatic increases in computer processing capabilities. Second, in the availability of massive amounts of data for training computer systems. And third, in the advances in machine learning algorithms and research. Now, let's take a closer look at deep learning and see why it's such a hot topic today. Assume that you have a data set of images of animals, such as cats and dogs, and you want to build a model that can recognize and differentiate them. This model is supposed to look at the sample set of images, learn from the images, and get trained. Later, given an image, we should be able to use this trained model to recognize the image as either a dog or a cat. Though this looks like a simple task, even for a very young child, computers often have difficulties in overcoming this task. So, let's see how computers address these difficulties. Traditionally, your first step in building such a model would be feature extraction and feature selection. That is, to choose the best features from your images, and then to use those features in a classification algorithm, such as a shallow neural network. Doing this would result in a model that, given an image, could predict cat or dog. Those chosen features could simply be the color, object edges, pixel location, or countless other features that could be extracted from the images. Of course, the better and more effective you are at finding feature sets, the more accurate and efficient you can become at image classification. In fact, in the last two decades, there has been a lot of scientific research in image processing related to finding the best feature sets within images for the purposes of classification. However, as you can imagine, the process of selecting and using the best features is a tremendously time-consuming task and is often ineffective. Furthermore, extending the features to other types of images becomes an even greater problem because the features you've used to discriminate cats and dogs cannot be easily generalized to things like recognizing handwritten digits, for example. Therefore, the importance of effectively and accurately selecting features can't be overstated. Enter deep neural networks, such as convolutional neural networks. Suddenly, without having to find or select features, this network automatically and effectively finds the best features for you. So instead of you choosing what image features to classify dogs versus cats, Convolutional neural networks can automatically find those features and classify the images for you. So, we can say deep learning is an algorithm that learns directly from samples much better than traditional approaches. Thanks for watching this video.